came back. Been wandering around a little bit. Swapped out this ring. This ring, I mean. <laughs> Just get some HP up there. Um, yeah. I don't... First of all, this music is great. I know I already said it in the last episode, but I've been wandering around a little bit, so I've been listening to it. Uh, I'm fairly confident this is just some tool to help with the fight. Uh, if it is if it is a puzzle, I can't find anything. So... Yeah. Anyways, um, I was just spacing out, <laughs> thinking about that music. Um, let's see if we can... This should... Uh, turn all of this on? No? Did I mess up? Where did I mess up? high. What? Wait, can't I just shoot it like this? Seems like so this is it. it's just a simple solution. <laughs> At last, this journey is almost done. God welcome. Are your studies complete? Oh wait, we have that room to explore too. Hold on. Actually forgot, so let's go solve this room as well. I'm missing something here. So do I. Uh, let's see. What are we missing? A button here. I'm missing something here. Ow! Okay. I think I'm missing something here. What if I shoot it? Ah! I think 
I'm missing something here. Yeah, we're definitely missing something. What are we missing? What? The spirit of a rabbit. Ah, I admire your enthusiasm, but I'm just about to cook oh, all the power. I will not allow it. I a pressure build, a pressure now. Oops. Misclick. It's okay. It's rude. Is there a switch of some sort here? No, I, I can't see it. Is it just like order? Is it maybe a time window thing? Let's try it. Stand there. Stand there. Here, you stand here. Ow! I think I'm missing Ow. something here. I think I'm missing something here. That. Okay. How about we first? Oh, <laughs> voice crack. Oops. How about we first turn this? Maybe this is power supply. And then we press the button to open the door. I'm missing something, oh. missing something ah. here. I think I'm missing something here. Must be a clue somewhere. Maybe in a book somewhere. Yeah, how about we open... And power... And then button for the door? No. Yeah, let's group up. See if we can find a book or something that can reveal One action to use. Ow! I think I'm missing something here. Hmm. If I shock the button. That didn't seem to do anything. Why are there two levers here? I'm gonna pre be pretty upset if it's just like an order, like a sequence thing. 
And there's like no no clue here. Candor still thinks he'll be the next divine. You are can and as if you too late oh, and with a consumed. I just jump up here, maybe? Nope, doesn't seem like it. How if I teleport up? Well, that actually works. There we go. Problem solved. <laughs> Who needs to do things the right way when you can just do it the lazy way? More like the clever way. There we go. <sighs> Easy. <laughs> it's safe. Before the DOS police comes and smacks me and throws me in jail. His memory comes to you like a hound to its master. Your name is Redless and you are Godwoken. But you know that you can never be divine. You are in love with Tarion, your rival, and that love makes you weak. You hear rumors of a god king who would free you to be with Tarion. You seek the Chancellor's knowledge of this king. But when you find the Chancellor, he lies dead. A figure stands over him. Lucian, the great divine. He smiles at you and bids you approach him. He lays a hand upon your shoulder, and his blade slices your gut. As you fall, poor Redless, you know that you will never see your Tarion again. Redless awakens as if from a daze. He takes what would have been a breath, were he still alive, and breaks into a run. Can we see Scott? No. Chancellor. Welcome to the Forbidden Library. Do not fear the truth, though it smash your world to pieces. Do not fear the truth about the gods. The gods destroy what they have made. You think them cruel, but they are not. They own us and will do with us what they must. A thought arrives from deep within. A single word. Lies. Hmm. Redolus sought the secrets of the gods. Redolus sought the god king. And Redolus died at Lucian's hand. Hunger rises deep within you. You, or the thing inside you, wants his source so badly you can taste it. Let's cater. Let's see what his happens. Eyes widen in panic and thank you for your service. Yeah, these so-called gods are shady as hell. Wow, that robe. Pretty basic, yet worth that much. That sure has a lot of uh, magic armor. Okay, come on, ring. God dang it. Scoundrel geo summoning. Ancient tome. Where is it? There it is. 
The secret of the gods. I've seen them with my own eyes. I've discovered the truth. The seven are keeping a secret. No shit. While we worship them as saviors, they feed on us like cattle. It is all of our source that keeps them alive. They consume the very lifeblood of individuals, families, villages, and kingdoms. Also, they may live on in perpetuity. Also, we cannot be sated by the source we should rightfully keep for ourselves. The gods are thieves and we their victims. The gods are liars and we ignorant sheep. The gods are masters and we their slaves. When you champion a god, you are championing no less than your own weakness. When you worship, you sentence your neighbors to death. We will only ever be free when we abandon them as they have abandoned us. Who could have seen this coming? Let's see. You feel lightheaded. The gods now seem like tyrants, feeding upon their worshippers' source, like their cattle raised to be slaughtered. One can't but feel somewhat taken aback by being treated as no more than a pawn, especially when one's the king on the board. Raised as cattle? Not at all. Cattle are worth so much more to their owners. This is callous, even for the seven. Something happened to the voice. Uh, basically what Lossa said there, if I skip too fast, is... Uh, you shouldn't jump to conclusions, because if you jump, you might fall off the cliff. They might have had their reasons. So, which is fair. Which is fair, we're still, still not fully... Like, fully... Uh, discovered exactly the reason why... The seven did what they did, whether it was just for power or maybe their lives were just miserable. I actually have what I need to craft it. So we don't exactly know how the Eternals really ruled. We haven't seen them interact with each other quite yet. Sooner than you think. Ooh, Anathema. It's been known by many names in many languages. Now it's called Anathema, a blade capable of killing the first target it touches, yet no more than that. A crystalline sword that could so much could so much as destroy a god that would lie dormant forever and after. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, turns out we're getting uh, problems with our uh, weight again. Should we try to compu compu uh, combine these? Just for the fun of it? Try. I know we m could do it somewhere else with Elmira because of that the dialogue option that shows up. You might need a table though. No. Let's uh... weapons. Ah, right. Schematics. She has them. Right. Yeah. So, anyways, there's a lot of holes in the story. It's going to be interesting to see who makes the compelling arguments. Take it. So have schematics here. I'll take it all. Okay, we got it all. Can we just open the door? Okay. Well, I guess we're doing this the hard way. Wow, that's a long jump. Holy crap. Oh, 
All right, we are ready. We are ready. Are your studies complete? All Godwoken have complete. I take you now to the arena of the One. The wellspring awaits the victor. There you may fall, or you may rise. The thing I'm worried about the most is items being shuffled so in the inventory. Begins. The first Godwoken to enter the wellspring of ascension becomes divine. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> Jesus, that takes a long time. Um. Yeah, so I'm like really. They all just agree that I should be the Void Walken, so I think I'm free to just. kill them. By the way, why is she undead? Something happened? Did I I don't remember actually. So I wanna go for the kill. I have a feeling I could just rush on over there, but I have no I have no personal attachment to these guys. They're in my way. I, I am the one who will ascend. Oh, I should have walked. You're not ascending anywhere, friend. Adrenaline? I did not. Okay, good. Let's just burn. Wait. Is there an enemy over here? There are some sentinels. I'm gonna kill everything. I don't like that the turn passes. Um, wait, why isn't Fane getting to move? Is that even in combat? <laughs> what the? Can I loot? No. Don't go too far. Shoot him. Oh, too far. Um. Okay, we can deal with it. Huh? Oh, okay. Ding. 
What else? Join our team. Oh, boy. Actually, a good hit. But he kind of put himself in a really dumb position. Yeah. Please return. <laughs> um. You know what? Living on the edge. You wanna fight? Let's fight. <laughs> Oh, it's blocked. Oh my god, I completely forgot. Oh well. Let's see, we teleport you over... Okay, never mind. We teleport... Oh, out of sight. <laughs> Weak to ear. Well, can't do anything about that, so... Gave up, he's like, oh crap. <laughs> Just won't die. Um. I should probably just go deal with these. Why is he undead too? Why are they all undead? Did they all die? to go help help our friend over here very good high ground plus damage boost let's go just in case they go berserk like last time Why could I? Stupid AI. Clunky interface. It's fine. Let's just deal with this. It's okay, you keep doing that.
set up for a shock next turn. Yeah. I can try to freeze it. Let's see. Yeah, that works too. Why am I slow? I'm not entirely sure why I'm slowed. Maybe oil? Probably. Ah, well, I'll just wait here. He has one more turn of not dying. Look at this guy tanking like a god. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, what does this look like? Let's see. I'm not even sure. Wet. Hmm. That means I should be able to... Short range. Out of sight. We're moving slowly. Nice. I wonder if this is all we actually had to do. Uh, let's say we lost our teammates, right? Well, no, because it said that you permanently lost teammates. I think the message... The message was permanently lost teammates, I believe. So... But I wonder if maybe... Would you be able to just walk past everybody, get into the well and ascend, and then have convince your teammates to come back, maybe? I don't know. But whatever. I'm more happy with this outcome. That earthquake is a little bit annoying. <laughs> Tends to uh, create some oil. <laughs> it's be good.
No. Oh, I forgot to check something. Oh wait, maybe I killed them, actually. <laughs> In Act 1, I don't remember. It's possible I did. <laughs> actually, I think I did. I've killed so many, I don't even remember. There it is. The wellspring. Damn, look at this artwork. Holy crap, it's good. Amazing. Man, it feels good to look at this. The lighting, just so good. Man, they did a good job with this. It's absolutely beautiful to look at. of you to come, God Woken. You know, you are many things, but above all, you are reliable. Reliable to the point of being predictable. You came to the Wellspring. I followed. The Lady Vengeance is, after all, my ship. And now here we all are. It is time, mistress. She gives you a long and steady look, as if it is the last time you shall see each other for the rest of eternity. Then she dips her chin in acknowledgement. You are almost her equal. Yes, Vredeman. It is time. She raises the Aetiran. Like a divining rod to water, it seeks the wellspring and finds it. The device hums to life. Yes, Breederman, we are done. And so too, Godwoken, are you. Soon you shall be little more than relics of a bygone time, and this place shall be your tomb. Goodbye. She break the wall? to look for a way out of here. Really? Do you think so? If I didn't know how she no. had everything under control, I'd think we were in big trouble. Well, that sucked. Man, imagine giving up your teammates for that. And in the end, you don't even get the to send. Failed. The structure lies in ruins, but you have at least survived. You should feel relief, disappointment, confusion, anything but the rage that wells up from deep within you. The rage grows, burning hotter than the volcano itself, tearing at you, seeking to overpower your senses. The red mist wants to descend. The red mist feels like it does not belong to you. The red mist feels alive. And it wants you. A familiar figure materializes before you. A copy of yourself, enraged. Your own face glowers at you in hateful fury. It opens its mouth. And your furious god begins to speak. You failure. You nobody. You weakling. Return the rest of my power to me. Look me in the eye. Wow, it's Relic, piece of shit. I am Relic. I am god of this world. All that you are is mine. Yield. Surrender yourself to your god, that he may right your wrong. Yield to Relic, that he may be god of Rivalon. If you won't yield by your own will, you will yield by mine. Well, if you guys are just gonna stand there... I got some fun shit for you.
There you go. What else can I do to you, hmm? I could cause it rain. And then I could maybe leave you like this. Ah, the arrogance. What else can I do to you? Stunned, stunned, frozen, frozen. <laughs> you know what? I'll let my team have some fun now. That's quite okay. Oh no. <laughs> Let's see. Let's also have some fun. Who's a tanky guy? You are. It's right in the middle. Fat of knives, is that what I call? Yep. One is dead. Who do we attack next? I think the blessed dude, I think. Here. <gasps> no. Um, knockdown will only work on one. I think we just work on killing the uh, the guy with the most damage, which is me, I guess. Pick you off. Just stop wearing you down. That's okay. Well, they got kind of destroyed. That was actually really fun. <laughs> the way they just stacked up for me. It's like, here, kill us. Any move? Let's just go to a rupture for now. Was that supposed to happen to all of them? Did I just miss out on something fun because I killed them too fast? <laughs> Let's see, how can I deal with this? Anything for one? Anything at all? I'm thinking of going stealth and then using mortal blow. I also just sleeping arms him. 
We can't attack. Also got acid on him. That's pretty good. Ah, let's use wind up toy. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> that three damage. Oh, that hurt actually. Right, okay, we need to put this out right now. <laughs> I mean, I figured he had some big attack. I was just being... Just trying to make content. Let's just get him, get him dead, why not? He's wet, so we should be able to do some fun stuff here. Yeah. That sounded really dirty, but it kind of applies, actually. We want to get through... Uh... Is he immune to bleeding? Probably, right? Yeah. So let's just... There we go. The Titan lies in pieces before you. The god controlling it is dead by your hand. Great. Lava royals as earthquakes rumble around you. Shockwaves of sound pierce the air, the growl of shifting ground. Suddenly, a voice echoes in your mind. It's Malady. Where the hell are you, she calls. Ah, find my beacon. We need to get out of here now. Her voice crackles and dissipates in your mind. I am having some fun, Malady. Give me a chance. Who are we fighting? Are we fighting the... Are we bugged? Or is this more? I don't see any more enemies, so... Delicious. Oh, I guess when I said never again, I really meant once or twice more. <laughs> okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay. The Wall of Echoes once more. Our home away from home. You know what affects me a great deal? Hauling you thither and yon, only to see you still haven't managed to ascend. <laughs> I want a god in my debt, is that so much to ask? At least you managed to murder one of the seven. Quite a spectacle. Did I murder four? I've never seen anything so... <clears throat> Let's talk about this later. I need to rest. We've still one big jump to go, but... It'll have to wait. She casts her gaze around taking in the streaming bluish ether. She breathes a deep, ragged breath. At least, it's quite, quite 
beautiful here, isn't it? Wish I could see. I'm going to take a rest, sort myself out. I suggest you do the same. Speak to the ship if you need me. She'll know where to find me. This may be your last bit of respite before the storm blows in again, Godwoken. Enjoy it. You deserve that much. Sure. Um. Well, we can identify this stuff later, to be honest. Well, that was a special ending. And, uh, yeah, pretty much called the assholery of those gods. Never really liked them. If an spirit stares at you, seemingly through you, he gives no sign. If an's eyes flicker rapidly, he whispers, Gleku Duma. Then, before your eyes, his spirit dissolves that you could hear. Okay, I re never really cared about them. There's a reason why I didn't pick them as my teammates. Right. All this commotion hasn't made it any easier. Right, I would love some trading, but uh, <laughs> my mule is not here. Wait, warfare scoundrel? Oh, it's not good enough, he doesn't have wits. I thought you'd forgotten about me, darling. How goes your little endeavor? Almira gives you a devilish grin and traces her finger along your forearm. I had a feeling you'd be one to watch, my dear. I'm glad to hear my faith wasn't misplaced. Let's see what happens. Let me save first. I thought you'd forgotten about me, darling. You want to graft a sworn breaker? I hope you haven't fallen here. Take the tablet. Just remember that I covet the sworn breaker as well. I trust you wouldn't. Almira. I had a feeling you'd be one to watch, my dear. I'm glad to hear my faith. Well, let's see. Let's toss some things out. Ah, oh, crap. This means they're gonna shuffle my inventory again. God dang it. Why do they always do this? This game lacks some serious uh, quality of life features, gotta say. Um, let me see if I can sell some things. All this commotion. What here takes a lot of weight. Let's try this. Still overweight. Okay. Should be close though. Just give me one moment to figure this out and we'll go... Take something out of here. What is the least useless? I mean, least useful.
probably one of these. Let's just... Yeah, let's take this one out. And sell it. All right. Let's talk. Not many things up. Yeah, that's true. Not many things you can do there. Sibyl's. There we have it. Don't we dare. The final die has been cast, and it's come up wanting. You have what you hope for. Forsake me now. From death. Okay. Uh, let's visit. Below deck, see what we find. Oh, well, we should talk to these guys. Huh? After all that's just happened, life, every flawed morsel of it, seems more precious to you than ever. You look around at those who have accompanied you so far. In each one, something unique shines through. Divinity has eluded you so far, but humanity, humanity beats strong within you, here and now. Who knows what lies ahead for you, for your companions? Your quest <laughs> failed. The void is growing stronger, and the hall is dark. You feel the need for some affection. Perhaps they feel it too. Wait. I think it's Loss's turn, right? Yeah, no thanks, Chief. We've spent enough time together lately, don't you think? Aww. Know me? I believe we know each other rather well at this point. Indeed, I have made many notes on the major events in your life, and I believe personally observed many more. In fact, Fane stops as he sees the look in your eyes, somewhere between annoyance, amusement, and affection. Oh, to know me, <laughs> scripturally. I, I mean, I'd rather wish, um, yes. Yes, I think I would like that very much. As you move to go below decks, the live wood creaks and groans. The steps you thought you knew lead you to a part of the ship you've never seen before. A newly carved nook that smells of resin and wood chips. Touching the wall beneath your fingers, the live wood hums at your touch. You understand that the Lady Vengeance has carved this space for you in gratitude for your help. You enter and feel the presence of the ship recede, offering you the total privacy of a moment alone with your companion. The first moment you have been truly alone together. <laughs> okay. You see, this is very necessary for a story. <laughs> Between you cracks and shimmers with source. Despite everything that's happened, you allow yourself to enjoy a moment of peace. So, um, what exactly did you have in mind? Fane pushes you back, breaking the embrace. He steps away, a sad look on his skull. Please, it is all well and good to caress cold bone, but it just feels so empty don't misunderstand i enjoy your company i enjoy it very much it's just i feel nothing neither the strength of your hand nor the warmth of your touch i i think there might be a way a way we could be intimate but it requires absolute trust in truth I never dreamed I would have the opportunity amongst your kind. But, well, perhaps I was wrong. You've helped me more than you know. You've opened my eyes to the merits of this world, if you'll pardon the expression. This land is so much more than a wasteland to explore. It's people more than specimens to be studied. My life is more than my obsession. At least, with you it could be. This notion of mine is not without risk, but... Do you trust me? Sure. And I trust you with more than my life. Fane reaches out his hand. Fane bows his head and Saw starts to swirl around his bones. It outlines him in a green glow, shimmering about him as if his spirit was stepping out of his body. Take me. Just a bit. Just enough. <laughs> Take it all. <laughs> your vision starts no. to blur as his source trickles into your body. This will work much better if you close your eyes. Please. You close your eyes and the world around you disappears, but a new one takes its place. 
you're surrounded by rows of angular stone shelves, each one packed full of books. You're standing in the academy. But where you saw a cold, broken ruin, this place feels warm and welcoming. It feels like home. You reach out to one of the cases when there's a cough behind you. You can grab me all you like, Morton, but a man's books is nothing sacred. You turn and see Fane. Not a skeleton, not a mask, not some shadowy hooded figure. You see Fane. He's leaning against a desk, a four-headed staff in his hand. His bluish-gray skin shimmers in the gentle light of the library. He walks over to you with slow, smooth steps, his staff clicking sharply against the stone. As he gets closer, you can see his eyes, which look black from a distance, are actually filled with tiny points of light. It's like gazing into the cosmos. So, where were we? You hear a grunt of surprise as your lips press into his, before his arms move behind the small of your back and pull you close. He steps forward, taking you in his arms. Your hands run down his chest, across silken robes. He smiles shyly as you break off the kiss, but you notice a look in his eyes. Perhaps you would prefer something else. I could find a mask if you would feel more comfortable looking at one of your own kind. Fane hoists you up in the air, walking back to his desk. He lands heavily against the desk, sending immaculate piles of paper flying across the floor. He pulls you on top of him with a grin. His heart races where your hands press down on his chest, and you can feel him growing, not just where you'd expect, but everywhere. His body seems to move and change to your pleasure, but all you can see are his eyes, a kaleidoscope of darkness and light, like the universe staring up at you. They draw you in, and as you press down on his body, you can feel yourself twisting, falling into those eyes, falling into infinity. Well, Fifty Shades of Divinity happened. Well, that was, I mean, especially when our previous encounter went so disastrously wrong. Thank you. No, I do. Before you, I moved through this world like a ghost. I tried to see everything while remaining unseen. I touched nothing, was touched by nothing. The greatest horrors and heroisms were no more than footnotes to me. But you... Fane takes your hand, interlocking his fingers with yours. You saw me. You touched me. You showed me just how little I knew. So yes. Thank you. You were most... unusual. Coupling for us is a more ceremonial affair. This was briefer. I remember the conception of my little girl took almost a day. But for all its brevity, this was... It was glorious. Alas, I fear reality calls. Right. Fifty Shades of Divinity done. Back to the fear of having to deal with the inventory mess that the game has made. It's there the only thing are. I can think about. I hear Malady wants to continue the journey. But to talk to the Lady Vengeance, and off we pop. Right, let's go. Is she here, or do I have to talk first? I remember there were some stats that were supposed to fix. I think there are some uh, overkill stats on uh, the Red the Prince there, but... I'll fix it later. It's not, uh, not that big a deal. Let's just get the story going. Oh, now we can actually look at uh, the world. Take whatever time you need to gather yourself, my friend. When you are ready, we can proceed. Yes, I am sorry. She had me built to her exact designs. Not even I know, but I will see myself destroyed 
rather than be forced to betray you again. I swear, it shall be done. Melody's face is drawn. She seems tired, somewhat subdued. She looks you over and squints. What's wrong with you? You seem... <laughs> happy. It's written all over you. In truth, I'm glad to see it. A joyful God is a just God. I've had some time to think, and there's a few matters I want to discuss before we carry on. I doubt you've forgotten the death of Meister Siva. She swallows hard, and closes her eyes for a moment, as though trying to dispel a dizzy spell. She and I had a deal, you see. A deal that's now quite obviously defunct. According to its terms, I was to help you ascend to divinity, and she was to help me with... Another matter. Okay, so this is the promise that Meister Silva, or Siva, I think Siva, uh, warned us not to get involved in. So, uh... The details aren't important now, it's just... Never mind. Another entangling alliance. But I won't be able to disentangle it on my own. There may come a time when I need to count on you as an ally. So, are we? Allies, that is. I'd like to know more. I mean, I would still help her. The details are detailed. Suffice it to say that Meister Siva believed she could help me. And I believe you're twice the sorcerer she ever was. That is not more information. <laughs> so? something I don't often hear. Let's offer help. Thank you. Moving on. I found out where Dallas is heading. There's a great city not far from Driftwood. Arx by name. It's controlled by Magisters, so you'll have your work cut out for you. We have to find out what she's planning to do with the powers of the Seven. You'll need to find her and take back what she stole. And quickly. Before she does something irreversible. Dallas, or any of the others for that matter, cannot be allowed to use the powers of the gods. She doesn't understand what must be done. She doesn't understand how to rule. It's quite simple, really. Chaos is a fact of life, surer than any other. Power is one of the few structures that can cut a line through that chaos. If wielded well, that line will mean stability, order comfort against the unknowable changing forces of chaos if wielded poorly the line will mean domination terror different from chaos but no better dallas and the others like her alexander the mother tree the prince of shadows they are little better than demons really they seek power at the expense of others not to create stability but to create servants look at my face god woken what do you see? I suppose we all see what we want to see. When I look in the mirror, I see balance. Balance between darkness and light, between good and evil. Whatever those categories mean. When the time comes for you to ascend, remember my face. Remember that despite any shortcomings you might have, if you can bring a semblance of balance to the world, you'll have done as good as the Seven did. And if you can be stronger than them, you'll do all the better. The Seven are gone. Slain by their god Woken. Slain by you. You have the potential, the obligation even, to do better than they did. To create a better world than the world they made. I know what evil is, god Woken. I've seen what chaos can do. It isn't how I picture Rivalon's future. You are my insurance against that. Now, there's little time to spare. We need to get you to Arx, find Dallas, take back what she stole. Shall we go? Very good. How lucky for you I'm on your side. I'm probably the only one masterful enough to transport an entire ship safely between the land of the dead and the land of the living. 
Captain Malady stands at the ready. After the briefest moment of respite, Malady brought the Godwoken to Ark to recover the divine powers Dallas had snatched away. But the half-demon's secret was taking its toll on her. Oh, oh, Lucian, fools! The bus is going to ruin everything! I was going to make a comment about balls, but <laughs> let's not. <laughs> uh, don't say anything. Malady groans, her face twisting in pain. She falls to one knee, catching herself on her hands. <laughs> Gesture towards the demolished ship and congratulate her on the landing. <laughs> yes, not my... <clears throat> Finest work, but never you fear. I've pulled a clever trick out of my sleeve. The Lady Vengeance stands in two realms at once, her body here, her soul in the Hall of Echoes. You can return at your leisure. She raises herself to her feet unsteadily. At least I got us where we wanted to go. This is Arx. This is where Dallas has fled with the powers of the gods. This is where Dallas must be stopped. She has stolen the powers of the Seven. You'll need to get the Aetirin back if you're to fight the God King. You'll need it if you're to ascend. Track her in Arx. Find out where she's gone and end her. Take back the Aetirin and the powers of the gods with it. You cannot fail, Godwoken. Not for anything. I don't intend to. The question is... Moment I've been dreading. Please, oh god dang it. Yeah. <laughs> Items are reshuffled. Well, I know what I'm gonna do while uh, the footage <laughs> remuxes. Anyways, let's end the episode here and then I'll be right back.